happening this morning at 9.30 at the PI Institute, at the Peña Institute. We have more details later today. And we also say there's a lot to do in the Valley every single weekend, but this weekend has some extra excitement on its way. Our Danielle Banda joins us live right now in studio to break it all down for us. Good morning, Danielle. Good morning. I am so excited. I don't know if it's because we're getting into the holiday season or what, but this weekend is indeed jam-packed with so much fun to take part in. So, first up, who says we have to wait until Valentine's Day to do something special with our special someone? Every day can be one of which we honor and bond with our partners, right? <laughs> if this sounds like you, uh, then how about we start working on that today? Check it out. This weekend is appointed as a self-guided couples hiking weekend at one of our local Harlingen parks. You'll have a chance to drop by for some fun outdoors uh, pretty much any time of day, Saturday or Sunday, and then have a special date night filled with adventure. All you need is your smartphone with data connection, so you can access the event site for digital date night box, and then you can just submit your couple information and enjoy all that our local nature has to offer and when you navigate your way through the site for your hike you can even use the keywords that they have on there like quality time and that'll be used as a discount code for different snacks that you can purchase at local shops and then you can take that stuff with you for the hike for adventure, I mean, for uh, energy on your adventure. Uh, but you guys, that is not all. If you use the code acts of service, for example, you can get an e-coupon on romantic couples massages, which let's be honest, might be worth it, especially if you want to relax after the long hike. If it's also going to be hot, you're sweating out there too. So there are all kinds of different keywords and codes and discounts like that there on the side. And you can even get motivational audio books with those filled with tips for improving your relationship and so much more. And and if you're a music lover, then listen up because this event, this next one, is definitely going to be one that you're going to put on your radar for tonight. Country music singer Michael Salgado and Tejano music artist Lucky Joe are hitting the stage once again, but this time in a special sit-down concert event. It's all going down at the Garden at Pacific Trails Park, and it's presented by our friends over at Beautiful Day Healthcare and 5x5 Brewing Company. See, this event was initially scheduled for Labor Day of this year, but then we had some weather issues ended up getting postponed to today and it's now known as the October Jam and there's still a chance for you to reserve a seat at one of the tables for a good time and if that's not fun enough you also can check out the Puro Tejano concert happening as part of Fiesta de Palmas Outdoors. It's Nano's 50th anniversary and great artists are going to be coming together like those of whom you see on screen and you're not going to want to miss the fun here either <laughs> so check out the website for details on how to secure those tickets and of course sing your heart out. Lastly don't miss out on two more family friendly occurrences you guys we want to make sure that your weekend is the best ever number one the far mccallan fall festival 2022 is happening tomorrow for your chance to check out food games and of course plenty of photo opportunities plus number two the city of edinburgh is hosting its block party event and i'm telling you this one's definitely one to add to your list as well with free admission and lots of excitement for sure the theme this year is actually going to be los martos bailan and it's also happening that was my dance happening tomorrow so be sure to log down your attendance for that one too if you can see i wasn't kidding lots and lots to do in the valley especially anticipation for halloween and uh yeah i don't know can it. you guys dance i yeah. was that was my little dance there i, can, I, can, little dance I, can, I can try to dance that's, <laughs> that's all i got there's a reason why they never have the camera on when i do it so. <laughs> but fall festival so, i mean a lot yeah. of stuff sounds good all of it what sounds a great, great. Weekend for a lot of it free too yeah, yeah so a lot of it's it free, cool. a lot of it outdoors Ooh. Yeah, and I'm excited. I have a friend coming in from Austin who has never been to the Valley. Oh, so wow. I have a, now I have a full list of oh, things to show, show her, Halloween. to bring her to. So yes. the island is, is one. Of course, and <laughs> always. Few of those things that Danielle mentioned too. Ooh, the music, so the glad. food, love it. Yeah. yeah. And I'm gonna be at that concert tonight with the with the Michael Salgado and everyone. Oh, nice. So it'll right. be fun. You guys should come. Cool. Get some pictures. Yeah. Love it. Love it. All we'll right. see you dance. Yeah. We'll see you. Yeah, we'll see you dance. Send us a video. Exactly. We'll post Who's it. Who's that girl? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Six nineteen is your time now. We're looking live at McAllen this morning. We've got clear skies out there. The radar 
is of course quiet. So got some 50s out there, although temperatures are a little bit warmer this morning with more humidity in place. We're going to continue to see that humidity making its way in over the coming days. So our morning lows are not going to be quite as cool. We'll be down in the 60s tomorrow morning and then back in the 70s for lows by early next week. So get out and enjoy this morning, next couple of mornings. 60 right now, Los Fresnos, 57, Harlingen, 62, Port Isabel, 56 there at Lyford, 73 out at uh, Port Mansfield. And looking at those low to mid 50s in Hidalgo County and upper 50s to near 60 degrees out in Star County. So 65 is where we should be. Once again, running below normal for our overnight lows. High pressure off towards our east is what's bringing in those east to southeast breezes yesterday, south to southeast today, and eventually they'll pick up more. We're going to have breezy conditions over the weekend, and that's going to help to pull in a lot of Gulf moisture. You're going to definitely notice humidity by Sunday and Monday. Upper 80s to near 90 degrees for highs today. Some mid 80s there at Brownsville, lower 80s there along the coast with those light south to southeast winds at about 5 to 10 miles an hour. And speaking of the island, if you're heading out there today, current risk is low, surf running 1 to 2 feet. That water temperature is back up to 80 degrees at the surf. At the bay, look for a moderate chop for this afternoon. Sunrise, 733, sunset tonight at 657 and looking at a low tide a little after nine o'clock and as I mentioned and we've been talking about all the fun events this weekend well don't forget Friday night football as well that is going to be hanging around uh, for us and we're going to be looking at those temperatures uh, still kind of on the uh, cool side I guess you could call it but anyway, no rain, clear skies. It's just going to be fantastic out there. And then we have one small little rain chance there Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm hoping these rain chances can go up some. Uh, we have Tropical Storm, which will become Hurricane Roslyn in the Pacific. That's going to be pushing some moisture across Texas. If it interacts with that front at the right time, we could see those rain chances go up. But right now, looking a little on the skimpy side. But breezy Saturday, Sunday upper 80s. Yeah, we got all the plans and now you guys know the weather, so <laughs> exactly, perfect weekend ahead. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And now uh -oh. we have our question. It uh -oh. is Friday, of course. Danielle is here. <laughs> Danielle's hey. here. She gets a chance now. So the question is, in which country was the Great Blizzard of 1888? And your choices are United Kingdom, United States, Italy, and Norway. So get those thinking caps on. We will have that answer. Coming up next half hour, and uh, you know Danielle, you, you, you know this is your chance <laughs> to redeem yourself because last week it was not good. <laughs> it was just not good, Danielle. It was just not good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think any of them have been good. <laughs> no, no, yeah, I'm yeah. not good. <laughs> we got it. We got it. Yeah, exactly. no cheating. All right, 6:22 is your time, everyone. Candidates usually de debate and rally to drum up support. Coming up, we'll show you how candidates this election cycle are using some new ways to draw out the vote.